morning everyone it's monday it looks like it's super dark outside or dark in here because it is raining heavily outside and it's actually 10 o'clock in the morning as you guys can see outside it's like really really dark but anyways i am 38 weeks and six days pregnant today uh, i feel fine i did walk a lot over the weekend I had two over 10,000 step days and i did that on purpose because i just wanted to exercise um but this morning i woke up and like my vagina area is like really really sore usually when it's sore i can kind of walk it off a little bit and then it feels a little bit better but um it's been pretty sore today i don't know that's just kind of what happens when you're in your like last week of pregnancy or last few weeks of pregnancy I've already transitioned off my projects to my teammates who will be taking over, but I do have a couple of things, onesie, twosie things that I am doing for my manager and for my team before I leave. So I'm working on those today and tomorrow and this week. Other than that, I just don't really have anything planned. We did a ton of cleaning this weekend, which is another thing. Thank God I finally have, I guess, like my nesting energy. By the way, today I am actually planning on getting the eggplant parmigiana from Scalini's just to try it out. I do have my routine check tomorrow, my 39-week check tomorrow morning. So I'm excited to go to that one. Yeah, that's pretty much the update for the day. and we're about to try it out i'm gonna show it to you guys see if it helps put me in labor in 48 hours is what its claim to fame is so it comes with this it oh, looks like yeah he is it actually looks good in the salad that looks good too babe and garlic bread so i'm gonna eat it i'm starving hi what are we doing today are we planting something oh we're gonna plant it yeah okay these are the daisy seeds okay cool let's get to work first of all we gotta take the tape out first yeah because we gotta make sure there's ventilation okay so that air can come in okay now second we gotta put some soil in it so you have to grab this shovel and go in the bag and grab some soil let me all right do we need less and less of just like one scoop of soil and then put it in the pot okay good job put it in the pot okay Mommy, can you open it wider so i can get a bigger scoop sure okay good job now put it in the pot Is that how it's been? yep put it in the pot perfect okay make it like this one more oops one more ah okay that's fine all right now we're gonna put some water in there you gonna see your hands okay now we drop it in there oh do you see them get out Aww. i hope we're doing this the right way So much water. <laughs> There's a naked kid in the backyard running. I think daddy's gonna get you all wet. Super soaker. weekend and um, we're just hanging out at home i wanted to show you guys my belly because i feel like my belly has dropped even more here's what my belly looks like right now 39 weeks and four days 39 and four days and i feel like she's dropped a little bit more that's what my belly looks like right now yeah, I just show you 
like how stretched out my stomach is and you can see like my veins everywhere you can see my veins of course my stretch marks everywhere too yeah so it is monday the 10th so may 10th and I am 39 weeks and six days pregnant, which means my due date is tomorrow. Yay! So if I were like many other lucky women, I would have already had my baby by now, but I am one of those moms who tend to have a very comfortable uterus, I guess. I am still heavily pregnant. Woo, sorry, I'm wearing the skirt. But as you can see, I am still so pregnant i have some early labor signs but they have been going on for weeks literally and i am now at my 40th week tomorrow at my due date and i'm still pregnant so i feel like it's either the baby is going to put me through active labor right away and hopefully it's going to happen fast or we shall see like i don't want to speak it into existence like i really don't want to have another c-section but i already had one so i understand that there could be risks with me like going beyond a certain date so we're just going to leave it up to the professionals but anyways i feel like she is on her way here because I have been getting a lot of painful cramps like before this I could feel my Braxton Hicks contractions obviously they're very um, irregular very frequent a couple weeks ago they start to hurt sometimes but not so much however now I feel like they are like pretty painful like um, like a sharp shooting pain almost and then I just have I don't know just like I feel like I have a lot of heartburn and indigestion and I'm super insomniac. I couldn't sleep at night. Last night I was tossing and turning um, because I just couldn't sleep. Like I was just way too hot or uncomfortable or I felt like having to throw up, you know, feel super nauseous um, and, and just congested or cons not constipated, just congested or I have this... Um, acid reflux so yeah as far as baby she is moving I feel like as far as movement goes like she's still moving about the same but not so much like it's not like it's um a lot of big movements i feel like they're just kind of movements because like she's like running out of space it feels like so who knows um i was experiencing lightning crotch a couple weeks ago but that kind of have stopped happening now but like i said my cramps hurt so again i don't know it's kind of like what i'm feeling right now 39 weeks and six days so i have my doctor's appointment tomorrow my 40th week and i'm gonna go in <laughs> and um, they're probably gonna do some tests and see what we should be doing or how long we should wait oh yeah also my mucus plug is still intact like i have not seen any discharge and definitely my water has not broken yet so yeah and yeah no crazy contractions or anything like that so um catch you guys next time maybe in a few days hi guys so it is wednesday right now it's 3 p.m so i am 40 weeks and two days and i am going in for my scheduled c-section tomorrow because i am not dilated and i already had a c-section before and there's just risks with us prolonging the VBAC or trying to get a VBAC. I'll explain in another video, but basically I'm going in for a planned C-section tomorrow and I have a few last minute things that I need to do today. Alden is at home with me because it is his last day as being the only child. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get to meet baby girl tomorrow. I am just, um, Maybe not tomorrow. yeah, she's going to be coming out tomorrow. Maybe not. 
So what I'm doing right now, I'm just in her nursery. I just realized that I actually have some clothes that I have not washed yet. So I'm going to wash it today before I go into my surgery tomorrow. So I want to show you some of the cute stuff that I got because all her outfits are so adorable. Okay, so let me show you what I have. What would you like to say to everyone um, since you're going to be a big brother tomorrow? This is um, Baby Addict's room. It's baby Addict's room? Yeah. And she has amazing stuff. <laughs> Are you excited about your sister coming tomorrow? Uh, yes! Are you going to be a good big brother? Wubby! So the first thing that we have here is this romper from Target. This is a Cat and Jack romper. It is so adorable. By the way, I'm only washing zero to three months stuff. This one our neighbor got for us. It has it comes with a matching headband. So this is the second one that I got. This is... A separate set that I got for her from Baby Gap. It is so adorable. I can't wait to dress her up in this. It's like a little tie-dye rainbow type of set. I love it so much. Okay, the third one is also similar. It's a separate set. This is also from that same neighbor. It's kind of like a cute crop top. Top here with the boomers. And it also comes with this pink matching headband. This one is uh, Cat and Jack from Target. The next three items are pajamas that I got from Walmart over the weekend. Um, I realized that we didn't have a lot of pajamas for her. So this, these two are Wonder Nation brand and this is just like a cute zipped up pajama. It has like a fold over mitt for the baby which is really nice. So that's one. The other one is this like unicorn print. So this Wonder Nation one, it's really cheap. It's like $4.96 a piece. And this third one is also from Walmart, but this one says Little Sister on it. Um, and this is the Carter's brand for Walmart. And this one is, this one is $7.24. So a little bit more expensive because of the Carter's name. Okay, and then the next two are more pajamas. This is from Old Navy. This is one of the first few things that I got her. I love it so much because it's like that tie-dye sort of print. It's really cute. It has the fold-over mitts, which is really nice, and the foodies. I can't remember the price, but it's really inexpensive. And the other one that I am really, really loving with these outfits, this is another pajama. It has like strawberries all over it. So cute. Okay, the next two onesies, onesies that I got from Old Navy as well, they're just like everyday onesies. These are zero to three months, just like short sleeve. I love the flower print on this. And then the other one is a longer sleeve onesie from Old Navy as well. Has like hearts and stuff all over it. And then the last two outfits that I have are like, oh my gosh, I am going to scream at how cute they are. My coworker got these for me, and I believe she got them from Macy's. They're so adorable. So the first one is this really, really adorable um, separate set. Again, it's just like a little like onesie with this ruffles. I love the ruffle detailing on here. And these are the matching blue boomers. And the brand for this is the First Impression brand. And like I said, she got it from Macy's. And then the second one is this little cute outfit. I am obsessed with like the soft pastel watercolory um, flowers on these leggings. They're so beautiful. And it comes with this gorgeous, gorgeous top. This is also from the First Impression brand from Macy's. And it has a cute matching headband with it. So I completely forgot that I also bought some pants or leggings for her from Old Navy. These are two really cute like roughly legging pant from Old Navy. You guys, I'm like a little bit in this surreal phase because like I can't believe that she's going to be here tomorrow. I'm also super nervous at the idea of going in for a plan C section. This is not best case scenario for me at all, um, but it is what it is. And the reason why I'm going for a plan C section is because I went in for my 40 week check yesterday. Not yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah. 
and my cervix is still zero centimeters um, closed and it's like really high up um, in the posterior position so what it means is that even though it's softening which is a good sign for labor um, but because I've already I already have um, a incision from my previous c-section they would not let me go past 41 weeks i could wait um, closer to my 41 week cutoff but because my first labor with my son ended up in an emergency c-section i didn't want this to be another emergency c-section because the recovery was horrible for that one i know that there's a lot of stigma around getting c-sections and it's like oh it's like the easy way out honestly i've tried i am past 40 weeks and i still am hoping for a natural birth but you know it's not gonna happen and i am super nervous about going in for my c-section but like i i'm gonna be doing this for my baby so as long as we both you know get here or get through it together healthy and safe that's all that matters so um so yeah sorry i'm also like really emotional because i <laughs> because of my hormones um i'm scared but you know it is what it is so wish me luck yeah i'm gonna wash these clothes and then i'm gonna wash my hair tonight blow dry it and see if i have time to like curl it or whatever and make sure i have um less few things with me to take to the hospital